Hey folks, welcome to Casting with Kirk. I'm Kirk, so glad you're joining me today. So today I want to talk to you about a soft plastic lure that is easy to rig, simple to fish, but catches a lot of bass. And that is a soft plastic, solid bodied swim bait. Now these swim baits, again, they're a solid body of plastic. They're ribbed, so they create some commotion in the water, spits a little bit, you know, bubbles and stuff like that. And it's got this paddle tail. And that just kicks through the water as it's coming through. Now these can be rigged multiple different ways. One of my favorite ways is to rig it as a swim jig trailer. They work phenomenal for that. They work really good in the summertime on a chatter bait, on a bladed jig. Uh, they get a lot of action kicking behind that blade. A couple other ways, I like to rig it on a small little like this is a quarter ounce uh, football jig head. I'll go out and get quarter ounce swim bait heads. That's what these specifically are made for, swim baits. And then you've also got the weighted belly hook that you can use on these. Now the weighted belly hook, that's really easy to rig on these. You just, there's a little screw at the end. You just screw the swim bait head right onto that screw. And then there's a little slit at the top of the swim bait, and that's where you want that hook coming through. Bend your soft plastic, run it up through that slit at the top, and now you're rigged on the weighted belly hook. Rigging it just on a jig head, run that right through the top of the head, push it all the way up till you get to the end of that little slot that's in the top of the swim bait, push that all the way to the front, and now you've got your rigged swim bait on a jig head. Now they come in different sizes. You're gonna see them uh, posted online a lot of times. It's like a, a 2.5, a 3.8, uh, 3.75. That has to do with the length of it. Uh, a lot of them are two and a half inch, three inch, uh, three and three quarter inches. Some of them are even four and a half, five inch swim baits. Color wise, Again, I try to emphasize this, keeping it simple. Get colors that have multiple use. Um, I like to have a white for shad. You can use that again, just weighted like this, rigged on its own, or you can put it on the back end of a white swim jig. You've got green pumpkin. Green pumpkin is an all around. You can fish it again on the back of a swim jig for a bluegill type look. You can also get ones that are considered bluegill panfish colors. And then you've got like a brown with some orange in it. It works really great when you're fishing around areas that are going to have those crawdads, especially in the springtime. Now fishing it, I like to throw it on either a six and a half or a seven foot medium heavy rod. Uh, depending upon the cover, if it's really thick, heavy cover I'm swimming it through, I'm going to go with 40 pound braid. If it's more open water, I'll probably go with 12 pound uh, copolymer or fluorocarbon. Now the areas you want to target are docks, uh, laydowns, um, over and through like weeds and lily pads. And it works really good if you put it on the ball or the football head jig, put on the football head jig and it will bounce across those rocks and it looks like something feeding on the bottom. Now it's a simple retrieve. You cast it out, let it fall to the depth where you want it, Start reeling it, maybe give it a couple of twitches. You know, like I said you can bounce it off of rocks, you can bounce it even off of like dock posts as it's coming along the side of the dock and stuff like that. Like I said, they're real simple to rig, they're really easy to fish, they catch a lot of bass spring, summer, fall, really cold water. They work in all water temps, they work really good in all uh, clear and dark, dingy water just because of that action that they get. So go out and get yourself a couple of these, keep it simple. All right, well, you folks have yourself a great day. I thank you for joining me.